What's up guys, Man on the Moon here with another video. Today I wanted to take a look at this new guy, Mr. Jones. Um, I gotta say, he, 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 look, he looks cool, but like, even if you were a mailman in like the pre-apocalypse era, why would you keep the get up? Like, I mean, I understand he's got a little gun belt and a knife, and he's repurposed his mail pack, but, like, why are you still wearing the outfit, guy? That being said, um, I'm going to move on to him in general. Uh, he's a tough tune, damage dealer, maxed out stats are 3,030 attack, 2102 defense and 2005 HP. Uh, which that's just so low. That, that D, I mean, I understand his role as a damage dealer, but those stats are just so low. And I'll get to his kit, but I just. Hey, I, I. He doesn't need the attack stats, is in my mind. Um, I wish that would have been parceled out over, like, evenly over all three. That extra thousand. Um, but, anyway, his adrenaline rush is called Blighted Shots with a 76 AP recharge rate. Three attacks of 200% damage, 600 total to one enemy. That enemy gets 200% infection and crosshairs for three turns. Now, it took me a while to find the explanation for what infection actually is, slash does. Um, the explanation that I read is that if the percent, as far as the percentage goes, if you infect a tune, in his case 200% infection, then the tune that has infection has to heal 200% of their total HP over the course of the next two turns, or they just immediately die. So, if a tune has, you know, 5,000 HP total, they would have, and he hits them with the 200% infection, they would have to heal for 10,000 total over the next two turns, or they're just immediately gone. And since he also adds crosshairs for three turns, which I find it a bit odd that the infection is three turns when infection as a skill said that you had to heal over the next two turns, so maybe infection is that you have to heal 200% over three turns, not two. Or it could just be that they gave him an extra turn, who knows. Um, if Honestly, if you do know, if you find out, if you get him quickly, let me know down in the comments below how that actually does work. Um, but that being said, since he gives that infection, if they don't heal that 200% within that two turns, or may possibly three, since he gives crosshairs, that's going to be a decap. And, which is why I say he doesn't really need the attack stat, because if the infection slash crosshairs is just going to be a kill slash decap, I, I guess I just don't see why they give him such a high attack. Um, either way, though, that seems pretty powerful to me. Because um, we just saw with the new mods, infection resist is not a thing, even if crosshairs resist is. And that's a pretty powerful skill. Um, he's got an active skill of Daze. Focus and crit up with an initial cooldown of 2, cooldown of 3, number of uses 5. Up to 3 enemies get dazed for 3 turns. This character gets 50 crit and focus for 3 turns. I like it. Um, daze to 3 on turn 2 is, is going to be useful no matter what. Um, 
even with Days Resist being a thing now, I highly doubt that you're going to have three people that are going to run three tunes on an opposing team that are going to run Days Resist. Um, and even then, it could still land. Um, as far as the crit up, he has the specialist skill of confounding, which is only the second one as in the six star era at all. The first one being Fast Yumiko, who is personally one of my favorites. She was my first ever pr promo pull. I got her on a single the day she dropped, just randomly. She, it was, and I loved her. I used her forever. I actually still use her on one of my attack teams to this day. Confounding is really good. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's only a one turn confuse as to where there are weapons and actives that last for more turns than that. As far as the weapons go, it although it might may be more turns, there's nothing you can do to influence whether or not it procs. It's the same as a stun or an impair. If it procs, it procs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. With confounding, you can get it to trigger nine out of ten times. My my Yumiko still to this day, she if there's no confuse resist, I'm gonna confuse a tune nine times out of ten. Just because her crit's good enough. Um, he doesn't have an attached weapon, so if you did happen to build a, maybe a, a double attack weapon or an impair weapon for uh, Douglas, you could just throw that right in his hands and it would work perfectly. Um, overall, I'd say he's just, he's a really good tune. Um, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be free to play yet. Um, I looked at the event. I'm not going to bother going over the event and how to get this character. Lockdown made a video about it. He did a way better job than I did. So go check that out. Um, or he did a way better video than I could do, I should say. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on the character. Uh, Mr. Jones, Road to Survival number two. Um... Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of him. Personally, I really do want to try my best to get him. Um, hoping the event's free to play. That's really all I can say about that. Um, let me know what you guys think, though. And remember, guys, it is a game, so try and have fun. This is going to be your friendly neighborhood man on the moon, signing off. Later, guys.